potent offensive team. I think they uh, they got the nation's third leading scorer, Momo Jones. They got Armand, Sean Armand, who's tremendous, and then they're scoring in the 80s. It's a shame that more people didn't watch this game because really this is one of the best games I've ever been a part of, and I've been a part of some really high-level games. It was fun to coach in. It was fun to play. Well, you know, we uh, it's – it's funny, my first year we would run that play all the time, dummy it in practice. We would dummy it, dummy it, dummy it, but honestly, we were never in a position to run it. And um, this year we've not run that, not one time in practice, not one time. And it just kind of popped in my head, and then Siobhan really did the rest. You know, he got it, he had composure to him, he was poised, and more importantly, like he believed that he could make the shot. It wasn't like, hey, you know, heads are down. Like, he really, I could see it when he turned the corner, he really tried to make it, and obviously not get through that, that shot. I mean, it was, it was just a mental shot. I mean, I was missing a lot of shots in the first, like, throughout the whole game, <clears throat> and I had an opportunity to seal the, seal the deal in, in the first overtime, but I failed. So I just, I just believed that I could make the shot, and I, I, I made it. In practice, you hit shots that far? Or well, in shoot-around, it's like a ritual we have that after, at the end of every shoot-around, we shoot half-court shots. I mean, we never shoot three-quarter shots, but we always shoot half-court shots. I mean, I always miss, but... Today was a day where I saved the, sh the make and I made it. You always miss? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll pick a good time. I'm one for like 50. Yeah. Um, every loss is a frustrating game. Um, I hate to lose with a passion. I hate it. And there's no, there's no other way to go about it. There's no other word that can describe it. It's, I hate it. I hate it, that's all I can say. I mean, you can't teach that shot. You, it, it went in and it's something that, you know, tonight things just went their way. Um, it knocked down some big shots, you know, he hit the half court heave and there's nothing that you can really, you know, there's nothing that you can really do about that. So it's, he made it. Where do, you, where do you go from here if you want? <laughs> um, practice tomorrow. That's where you go from here. Start practice. Just got to go back to the drum board. Um, just got to practice hard. We got to come out. We got to play hard. And we got to win. That's, you know, there's no other way to, to – to go, but to win. I mean, we continue to lose, but we got to win. Coach, you, you got the feeling, do you think you're at a crossroads with this team? Maybe? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, like, I, I'm not surprised by it because I think our talent base and all the new guys that we're going to hit a stretch like this, I think early on we played probably better than I thought we would have played early on, and our guys got a little false sense of security. And now – seeing teams a second time around. And, and like I had said earlier to you guys, when teams figure out how they're going to play Sean and Momo, other guys are going to now have to step up and be ready. And we're hoping by the second half of the year that we'd have a more consistent effort from some people. And, and that's an area we're lacking. But the reality is, again, foul shots and down the other end. Like how many times were, sh were shots missed or our guys were leaking out instead of going after the rebounds? That last three that was hit was another guy, you know, one of our guys leaking out again. You know, we foul a guy on a three-point shot. Fake. We just lost the game doing that. So at some point, no, guys have to start playing with their heads a little bit. And we can replicate it and talk about it and show it on film and all that. But at some point, guys have to step up and, and play with a little bit of smarts. And right now, we're not doing that. And again, part of that is us finding out, like, hey, you know what? We've never had these kids in this situation. We're finding out this kid, this kid, and this kid are really struggling. We have to do other things to help them, educate them a little, and bring their game along and their knowledge along. And it's not something you just do on the court. It's something you have to do with film. It's something you have to do in teaching. And eventually, you hope it sinks in. And right now, it hasn't sunk in, and, and I'm hoping it does very shortly because otherwise we're in for a long stretch the rest of the year.